Hey, it's Will here for Hair Guard. Maybe you've heard people talking about caffeine for hair growth, but you never really knew if that was hearsay or facts. It sounds like a bit of an old wives tale, doesn't it? So can caffeine actually stimulate hair growth? Well, in this video, I'm gonna set the record straight. We're gonna dive into the latest clinical studies to see if caffeine does or does not have any hair growing power in the real world. So after going through this video, you'll be able to make an informed science-based decision about whether you should be using caffeine in your anti-hair loss stack. We'll also cover if there's any side effects and how to get the best results if you do decide it could work for you. So even though most people consume caffeine pretty much daily, few people actually realize just how many applications in human health and medicine caffeine has. This is because after we ingest it, it crosses most of the membranes in our body and becomes widely distributed in a matter of minutes. Apart from stimulating our nervous system, it also affects our vascular system, heart, breathing, muscles, kidneys, and more. It also has numerous uses in dermatology. Apart from hair loss, which we'll cover shortly, it's also being looked at as a compound of interest in a skin disease called rosacea, as well as various types of skin cancer. Now, right off the bat, I wanna clarify that when we discuss caffeine for hair loss, we only mean the topical application. Unfortunately, there's no possibility to grow your hair back by drinking more coffee. It will only work if you apply it directly on the scalp. So straight up, does it work against androgenetic alopecia, aka pattern hair loss? The answer is yes. There are simply too many published studies at this point, and they basically say all the same thing in different words and using different metrics. This stuff is real and it does work. So for example, a 2018 study recruited 210 men with androgenetic alopecia of various different grades. The men were randomly divided into two groups. One group was treated with standard 5% daily minoxidil. The other group with a topical caffeine solution also twice daily. After six months, the researchers compared the two groups. To do this, they measured the percentage of hairs on the scalp that were in the anagen growing phase. So bear in mind that one of the main effects of AGA is the reduction in the percentage of hairs in the anagen phase. This means fewer hairs growing at any given point in time. So any treatment that will work must reverse this process. Well, when it was all said and done, minoxidil had increased the anagen hairs by 11.7% compared to 10.6% for the caffeine group. So this small difference was basically not statistically significant, which basically means the two treatments worked more or less the same. Two earlier studies out of Italy in 2010 and 11 had looked at the efficacy of topical caffeine in the form of a lotion and a shampoo. Both forms were effective, leading to improvements in hair loss in 70 to 80% of the men after a few months. Now, am I saying using topical caffeine alone is going to reverse aggressive hair loss? No, of course not. But the studies do show overall, it has a very positive impact on hair growth. So what about the mechanism of action? Now, we don't exactly understand how caffeine works to reverse hair loss. We know it's a powerful antioxidant that prevents free radical damage. And it also appears to promote the proliferation of cells by stimulating their metabolism. And it likely does this with hair follicle cells as well. Scientists actually know this because when they take live human hair follicles and put them in a growth medium, kind of like a Petri dish, and treat them with caffeine, they grow longer hairs compared to untreated hair follicles. Caffeine's effect is so strong that it can even reverse artificial barriers to hair growth. So for example, scientists know that when you treat hair follicles with testosterone, this retards their growth. But add caffeine to the growth medium alongside the testosterone, and the follicles start to grow rapidly again. Regardless of exactly how caffeine accomplishes all this, we know that one of the reasons it's so effective has to do with the way it's absorbed. Bear in mind, even if a molecule does miracles with hair follicles in a Petri dish, if it's not properly absorbed when we apply it on the scalp, 
it will be basically useless as a topical. And we know that when you apply it topically, caffeine will be absorbed primarily through the follicles rather than the surrounding tissues themselves. So what about side effects? These are generally minimal to basically non-existent. Caffeine on the whole is a very safe substance when you take it orally in normal doses and topical application is even safer. If you do get any side effects, these are more likely to be due from the vehicle that the caffeine is in than the actual caffeine itself. The only side effects I can think of is the possibility of it interrupting your sleep if you applied it late at night. However, I don't think that's realistically what would happen, but you have to see for yourself. It's also very affordable because caffeine can be produced synthetically at huge quantities at a very low cost. Now, if you have the time, you can make this yourself at a low cost by getting some caffeine pills or powder and mixing them up with something like propylene glycol. An even simpler solution is to add caffeine to your minoxidil solution enabling the two topicals to work synergistically. But you do have to be very careful when you go down that DIY route, because when it comes to topical caffeine, concentration is key. Too low concentration will have basically no effect. And there is some evidence that at too high a concentration, it will just stop working altogether. What I actually recommend is getting the added hair growing power of caffeine in your everyday topical that's being professionally formulated. But not only that, why not make the formulation even more powerful by adding proven ingredients like adenosine, zinc, oleic acid, and azelaic acid. When combined together, you get all the benefits in one easy application. For example, azelaic acid helps block DHT, so they work very nicely together. But each ingredient is added specifically because of its proven power and its ability to improve hair growth through one mechanism or another. Maxoxidil is our proprietary formula containing the perfect dose of caffeine alongside with adenosine, oleic acid, azelaic acid, and more. We formulated it to be easily applied, quick absorbing, and non-itchy. If you're using a topical liquid for hair loss, then I highly recommend Maxoxidil. Learn more about it using the link in the description. Also, one of the studies we mentioned previously in this video showed a really positive outcome when the caffeine was used in a shampoo. That's why the HairGuard Caffeine Shampoo contains, well, caffeine. This is the best shampoo on the market if you're looking for something that's natural, but specifically formulated for improving hair growth. So that's it for this video. I hope that was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what video you want me to make next. And if you want to ask a question, I'll try and answer all the questions um, in the comment section. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.